Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Welcome back to our learning space. I'm Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. I'm also feeling a little rambunctious. You might hear that word. It means very active. Someone might tell you, stop being so rambunctious. Especially if you have to be in a quiet place like a school or an office. Now, when you're feeling rambunctious, you still need to calm down, even though it's a very good feeling. Now, we've been learning about different ways to calm down, and I've been using my calm down wheel. So let's see what strategy we picked today. All right, here's my wheel. We got the sphere two times. Oh, three times with the sphere. Let's try something different. Let's see. A sensory bottle, how fun. Now last time I did my glitter one. This time I'm gonna use my sensory bottle with pom-poms. Now remember, you can make these at home. All I used was a recycled bottle and I took all the stuff off of it and I washed it really well. I put some water in here and a little bit of cooking oil and my favorite fluffy things. And then you can watch them go up and down and spin around and you can even shake it really hard and watch the bubbles kind of form around the puffy things. It's really fun. I hope you get to make one at home. All right, another way you can calm down is by looking in the mirror and checking your feelings. Now you've been helping me pick out a letter. Can you help me pick out my letter mirror again? Here's the letter we're gonna make today. Let's see if you can guess it. I'm going to need three big lines. Actually, maybe one more, let's see. I'm gonna go down and then another big line is gonna go up and then another big line is gonna go down. And I do need one more. Can you figure out what letter it is? Here it is. It's the letter W, that's right. Let me grab my letter W mirror and we'll look and see how we feel. All right, I think I know how I feel. Now it's time for you to check in on how you feel by touching the picture on the screen that matches. Let's watch together. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say you're feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. Now remember, boys and girls, it's so important for you to check in on how you're feeling and also to check in on those around you. If you're going to school, why not check in with a friend in your class? Now we have a special friend today that's sharing how they're feeling. Her name's Jacqueline. Look, special letter J for Jacqueline. Can we say hi to Jacqueline? Hi, Jacqueline. Now Jacqueline is in one of our preschool classrooms and look, if you look, you'll see some Play-Doh that she has in her hand. I think she made it all by herself. So let's see, how do we think Jacqueline is feeling? She has a big smile on her face and her eyes are lit up. And look, her shoulders are back and relaxed. If you think that Jacqueline is feeling proud, maybe of the Play-Doh she made, make a proud face like this. Hmm. If you think that Jacqueline is feeling disgusted, maybe she doesn't like how the Play-Doh feels, make a disgusted face like this. Blech. Let me take a look. Ooh, I see a lot of proud faces. Jacqueline, we think you're feeling proud in this picture. Thank you for sharing your story. 
Now, boys and girls, if you want to share your story, don't forget to ask a parent, a family member, or a teacher to send it to the address below. And I'm always going to remind you that you get a special workbook when you come and leave your address with your picture. So look, we have Curious George. He's so funny. We have Let's Go Luna. And we also have Pinkalicious and their stickers inside. I hope I get lots of pictures. Okay, let's see. Time to check our plan and see what we're doing for the day. Did our emotional check-in. Did our weekly investigation. We're learning about doctors this week and everything they do for our community. Today we're going to be learning about a story that has to do with some goats. Oh, I can't wait to hear about it. And then we're going to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Let's do a quick movement that's going to get us up and ready. So we have a letter here that's kind of tricky. You can make it with your hands. Are you ready? Da 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 da. It's the letter X. X is for xylophone. Now I don't have a xylophone with me, but I can pretend. So a xylophone is a musical instrument that makes beautiful music. It has all kinds of colors, and you play it almost like drums. So let's get our sticks ready. Do, 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 do. Really nice. Now let's walk over to our intentional message. Here we go. For the last time, let's read it. Doctors are people who practice medicine. They keep people healthy and help heal the sick. So if you're ever sick, you would go to a doctor. Now you've been helping me put the beginning sound on these bandages to the picture that matches. You only have a few things left. Let's see. Our letter this week is X. X, ooh, just like our movement card, X. So let's see what picture makes the X sound. Is it Band-Aid, Band-Aid, or is it X-Ray? X-ray. Yes, it's x-ray. Let's put our bandage on the x-ray. We learned that x-rays help doctors see inside of us so they can see what's wrong. There it is. And since we didn't get to talk about it, this little tool is funny. It's like a little hammer and the doctor goes through and kind of taps on your knee and without you even knowing, your knee kind of jerks up like this. Okay, let's ask Dr. Lopez about it. Dr. Lopez, how are you, Dr. Lopez? Now, Dr. Lopez, all this week we've been learning about doctors. Yes, and we started out by saying that some kids are scared to go to the doctor. I know, it was unbelievable. Doctors are there to help. Now, why do you think kids are scared to go to the doctor? I think sometimes they think that doctors give them shots and that's all they do. That's true, but we learned that doctors use lots of tools to keep us healthy. They use a stethoscope, an otoscope, hung depressors, and bandages. Doctors are friendly people, aren't they? Next time I'm sick, I'm definitely going to go to the doctor and not be scared. I hope so. Okay, so I'm going to put you down and we're going to sing our song about doctors for the last time today. Let's see. The tune is I'm a Little Teapot. It goes like this. I'm a little teapot. Okay, will you sing with me? It goes, I'm a helpful doctor dressed in white. I help people feel better day and night. When you get hurt or sick, Come see me. I'll get you all fixed up just as quick as can be. Do you hear the rhyming words? Me, B. They both say E. Let's sing it in Spanish now. That's another language that I know how to speak. It goes like this. Soy un doctor y con mucho amor. Ayudo a la gente a sentirse mejor. Cuando te enfermas o te lastimas, a visitar el doctor es donde vas. Hey, my friends, now it's time for Fairy Tale Friday. I can't wait to share a story with you. Let's watch together. It's Fairy Tale Friday. 
the classic tale of the three billy goats gruff retold by miss lara once upon a time there were three billy goats with the last name gruff there was little billy goat gruff who was the smallest and youngest there was bigger billy goat gruff who was older than little billy goat and there was biggest billy goat the largest of them all the three billy goats were hungry. They wanted to cross the bridge to get to the grass on the other side. But they had a problem. There was a mean troll who lived under the bridge and wanted to catch them. Little Billy Goat Gruff went first. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who is that walking on my bridge? asked the mean troll. It is only I, said Little Billy Goat Gruff. Let me pass and you can catch my brother. He's much larger than me. So the troll let him pass. <laughs> Next, the bigger Billy Goat Gruff crossed the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Who is that walking on my bridge? Asked the mean troll. It is only I, said bigger Billy Goat Gruff. But don't catch me. Wait for my brother. He's the biggest of them all. So the troll let bigger Billy Goat Gruff <laughs> pass. Now it was the biggest Billy Goat Gruff's turn to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Who is that walking on my bridge? said the mean troll. It is I, said the biggest Billy Goat Gruff. Here I come. Watch out. And the biggest Billy Goat Gruff pushed the mean troll off the bridge and away he swam. The three Billy Goats Gruff ate the green, green grass and they lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed today's classic tale. See you next time. My friends, don't forget that you can learn more about classic tales in the books around you and on the Sora app. Okay, for the last time this week, we're going to check our schedule and make sure that we accomplished so much. Let's see. We did our emotional check-in. We did our weekly investigation. We learned a bit about doctors this week and finished up with a wonderful fairy tale. And now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Let's do that together. Here we go. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend. V, W, X, Y, Z. I'm going to miss you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Till then, Miss Lara sends you a big squeeze and a big smooch mwah, and reminds you to read and to play and to enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.